sorry I had to check my mic was on welcome back to the vlog I have done a vlog for months first off apologize one of you told me you missed my vlog so that's made me pick up my camera and vlog so thanks <laughs> um, I don't even know what to update you on really so we're not even I'm not even going to try I don't think but it's Sunday it's the end of August um, me and Luke are pottering around this morning he's just cleaning the car I've just cleaned the kitchen I've got a few bits um, if you follow me over on Instagram I went to the Cotswolds with my mum and we did all the lovely villagey things we went to Dalesford Farm Chipping Norton Burford we went into Home Barn we done loads of really cute mother daughter things and yeah just had a really good time but um i did buy some things which i haven't actually put on instagram but i thought i'd show you lot so um yeah that's what i'll do oh it feels really weird with the camera i feel surprisingly comfortable with it i'm back vlogging awesome. I've, I've started it again well done it's way overdue i think you need to be in it now no But it's fun with you. I'll get him to come on the vlogs. He'll definitely be involved. Anyway, so I need to finish off tidying up and putting away some bits and doing the kitchen. And then I will show you the bits I bought from um, Dalesford. <laughs> I'm back. I tried again, this is like the third time, that I have tried to keep herbs alive. So the rosemary's going okay. The rosemary's looking good. It doesn't really smell though, so that could be dying. However, I've got that up there. And then this is the, I don't even know, I can't even remember what this is now. But that is definitely dying. I officially can't keep herbs in my kitchen. So we're just not gonna bother. So this, go straight in the bin <laughs> and then we can use this pot as a decorative item because that's what I do now with pots so I oops right I'm gonna sit here because I quite like sitting here and I've never actually sat here to vlog I'm going to sit here and I'm going to show you what I got from um, my Cotswold trip. Let's see Luke's join us here. This is such an old photo. Like such an old photo. Look how young we look. I look really tanned. <laughs> anyway, put it there. So, let me show you first off. I haven't even unwrapped them all. Okay, hold on. Let me go get something. I also realised that I had the TV on, so if you didn't hear any of that, because the TV was too loud, I do apologise. I've just muted it. Um, I'm watching just real rubbish um, American films, as you do. So, we went to Dalesford, which was absolutely incredible. Me and Mum, like, had the best time. Totally obsessed. They need to open one up in Essex. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I picked up this coffee book. So it's called Nurture, Notes and Recipes from Dalesford Farm. Um, and it's the beautiful texture. It's got the same texture as the Soho Home one. Um, eat, drink, sleep. Eat, sleep, drink, one of them. But yeah, it's got a beautiful spine as well. So it's great, obviously, to style, really neutral. And it actually has some, let me see if I can show you, some beautiful images. And also some amazing recipes as well. It obviously talk, talks about um, their restaurant, um, their chefs, menus, their garden, their livestock. Obviously, oh, bakery. I have to die for. Cheese. Yeah, it's a brilliant book. Absolutely beautiful inside. If you want some really good, like, earthy, hearty, homegrown recipes, and this is definitely a book. Plus... It looks, for me, it's just going to look amazing on a coffee table or on my console table. Oh, I might even put it up here, you know. Yes. Okay, new styling. It's going to go up there. I'm going to start this little, I'm going to restart the shelf in a minute. 
Yes, let's do that. Okay, let me show you the rest of the bits I got. Bear with. Oh, the other bits that I picked up from Dalesford was I picked up this beautiful tin. Actually, the story with this, my mum wanted a nice tin to put biscuits in and she actually bought this for the biscuits as well but also to use the tin and at the checkout she was buying it and I kept staring at it and it's a good price I think it was £12 you know and you're just like I want one I need one so I went back and got one never mind it says organic biscuits for cheese and they have Organic manuka honey oat cakes, organic rice spelt and raisin crisp breads. I don't like raisins, so someone else can eat those. And organic seaweed biscuits. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, beautiful tin. Absolutely adorable. With all, the, all the cows on. Great little tin to have to put all your biscuits in and keep them nice and fresh. So, yeah, this was a good one. Oh, next up from Dalesford, I picked up this. This, I saw this pretty much straight away and I was like, Emma, no, you've just walked in, don't get too obsessed. Hoover's gone flat. I'll put, that's so crap that Hoover. Dyson, you are rubbish. Dyson, you're sh But shark Hoovers. <laughs> yeah, we love our shark Hoover. Dyson are crap. Yeah, we could do it with a, a portable one though. Luke's cleaning the inside of the car, I normally do it, but I haven't done it. So, Luke's doing it. Uh, before we go out for lunch and um, the Dyson one keeps dying on us and doesn't really suck up properly but we've got a proper shark one a plug-in big one and it's amazing however we need like a handheld one really for the car because it's a pain taking that out and plug it in and all that jazz so anyway um, so this is what I also bought from Dalesford it is this ceramic pot it says on here Dalesford Dalesford, upside down. Oh, I didn't realise that. This again, this was, uh, I think this was £12, really, 12 or 15 really reasonable. It's actually a wine cooler. However, I really liked it to put, um, um, utensils and stuff in. So, like, um, utensils. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> totally lost my train of thought. So, yeah, I thought this was really nice and I quite like the, um, colour and it's really sm yeah I just love it you can tell I haven't vlogged for ages can't you I don't know what I'm talking about anyway this wine cooler great purchase so I might even I could style it up there next to my book okay this is happening this is happening what else did I get so that's what I got from Dalesford oh and I did get some Dalesford chocolate oh and I also haven't actually opened it yet I also got a um we had dinner there and beautiful food, lovely food, um, lovely decor and interior, really good service. But I had some um, rosé prosecco and it's actually their own organic rosé frizzante. Um, that's what I picked myself up, if you can see that, a glass. A glass, I picked myself up a bottle to bring home. So I haven't opened it yet, but I will open it maybe for, I don't know. But I'm going to drink it all, and probably to myself. Luke doesn't drink rosé, so I might not open this when we have guests. I'll open it just for me. <laughs> because, why not? <laughs> yeah, I got some organic chocolate um, for Luke, the mint one, and I had the dark. Uh, rosé, obviously got book, wine, cooler. So that was all my Dal Dalesford Farm purchases. Then we went to Burford. Burford's lovely. I only really know Burford because... Um, Lydia Millen Gordon um, obviously lives near there and she always says how amazing it is. So when I saw it, I was like, we must go there. And in the main like high street village, there was a little stall and they um, sold these beautiful natural organic olive oil soaps. You can see if that's even gonna focus. I love the olive color and Apparently they make your skin feel just silky, silky smooth. Oh look, it says Alhule Olive. Alhule Olive? And it's got a little like olive symbol on it. Can you even see that? See? I, it was like two pounds. I just thought it would look lovely next to a sink or in a bathroom or even probably in the utility room. Probably won't get used. Um, I keep buying stuff that I'm not going to use, but I thought that was beautiful. I just need like a little tray or something to put on it. I might go on Brin and Regan's website because they have quite a few like um, rustic trays that might look quite nice with it on next to maybe like a hand wash. So 
I will style that up at some point. We are, I do need to re-accessorise our utility room. At the moment, it does look like a laundrette. If you do know me, then my, my, my utility room always looks like a laundrette. However, I am gonna put a shelf up with some hooks. Um, I need to give it a bit of a revamp because it is a lovely space. Um, I just use it as a dumping ground, which probably isn't great. Uh, what else did I get, what else did I get? What's this? Ooh. Okay, then I went to a lovely home store, if anyone's on Instagram, called Home Barn. Beautiful, beautiful accessories. Like, if I had, if I won the winning lottery ticket, I think my whole home would look like the inside of Home Barn. They have some beautiful antiques and rustic furniture and accessories and fabrics and yeah, it's just amazing. So have a little look um, online if you can. Um, but I bought two. Oh, that's Daisy. Oh, did she try and... Oh, she called me. Oh, I'm going to be going out for lunch and she was going to give me her heads up, but um, I don't know where my, where my phone is. Oops. So, I did get two of these very cute little mini terracotta pots. These are tiny. I thought they'd be really cute with little tea lights in or even like a little mini herb pot. Can't keep herbs alive, so it might have to be fake. But... A little bit obsessed with terracotta pots, so these are very cute, and I might even style them like this up on this shelf. Okay, I definitely need to restyle. So yeah, love these. And then finally, from Home Barn, I wasn't going to buy this, but it reminded me of one I think I've seen in Neptune. I've also seen it elsewhere, and it was a really good price. And I was like, "You're coming home with me." I'm never probably won't go to Home Barn again for quite a while because I don't live anywhere near the Cotswolds. I live in Essex, so when I saw it, I was like, "You are coming home with me." So I bought this beautiful, cracked, textured, vintage vase. It's absolutely stunning. Um, yeah. It's not problem. Basically, just right now, video in 15 minutes. Yeah, I thought they were planning for one ish. Well, I'm, re I'm ready, so um, do you want me to tidy up out there? Yeah, if you don't mind. Yeah? I'd like to open up the garage, you can just front in there and then shut it. Yeah, right, baby. All right, I'll finish off here. You, you can have a shower. Okay. All right, darling. Go, go, go! Okay, so we're meeting Luke's cousin, Daisy, and her other half Scott for lunch at the Lion Inn, a really nice pub. I say pub, it's not really a pub. It's like a restaurant y pub -y place. Um, I'll try and take you with me. Yeah, lovely, beautiful food. Uh, we love it there. But we said about one inch, but they were viewing a house this morning and we weren't too sure what time. And Luke wanted to clean the car, then he wanted to hoover the car, but she's just rung and um, they're going to be there in 15 minutes. So, yeah, we'll be late. <laughs> Anyway, I'll quickly fi um, finish off here. So this vase, I absolutely adore, and I think I'm even gonna style it up on this shelf here as well, because I think it needs to be center stage. So that is my plan. I think I'm gonna do that now. But yeah, that's all I, all, all I bought. I say all, I think I wasn't meaning to, meaning to buy anything. However, I knew that I was going away with mum. It was a birthday treat uh, for back in April, because we went to Highclere House, where Downton Abbey was filmed, and beautiful. We stayed there for two nights um, at the King's, King of Arms, stayed at the King of Arms. Uh, lovely pub, lovely food, great room, um, interior to die for. But while I sort this out, I will show you a couple of pictures of our trip and what we saw and where we went and everything. So um, I'll do that now for you and then we can get starting this shelf. Luke did just say you wanted me to put away the car stuff. So let me just do that really quickly um, and then we'll start the shelf. Oh, the car looks beaut. Tied up outside. 
side, I need to go and just top up the makeup to make sure that um, I'm presentable for lunch. Probably take my hoodie off, find something to put on, <laughs> and then uh, but I'll leave a restyle. If Luke's not ready, I'll leave a restyle. Um, put over there. Here. You are. Oh, it's hot. Okay, I will either restyle um, that console table when I get back, and we can do that together. I'm so fit. <laughs> or, um, if Luke's not, we're not ready, I'll do it now. But, um, I need to go for lunch, so I'm just gonna, I'm just staying in my jeans. I'm just gonna wear jeans, this top, and just like a little, like, cardigan. This is a really rubbish height. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna whack on a little cardigan. To be fair, I did my makeup not long ago. I'm wearing less and less makeup now. Now I've got into a really good skincare routine with my Lumi Spa, and I'm doing at home microleading for, um, microleading? Microneedling, microneedling, yeah, for my pigmentation. It's just at home one, so it's not as invasive as in the salon. Um, but I'm just gonna try it, and hopefully it's helping, but, I'm going to see Jenny at the salon soon, in a couple of weeks, um, for some waxes. So I will go without any makeup and see what she thinks, and um, see if it's helping. Um, but yeah, I am wearing limited makeup, which is great, because I've learned I'm not, I don't mind makeup. I'm just not very good at it. Less is more, I think. That's only if I've got uh, okay skin. I love this cardigan. I might wear this again. It's one of my faves. This is a H&M, H&M jobby. Try and raise you up. There you go. This is a H&M jobby and it's actually one of my favorites because it's really, really soft. I think I've, um, I think I actually did a haul probably like seven years ago. <laughs> I'm joking. A couple of months ago on, um, and this was in the haul. Anyway, I'm rambling. It is in the cell, but they're out of stock, so I'm sorry if you do want one. Um, they might come back in stock, I reckon. Lovely, and then add a bit of gold. So that's me pretty much ready. <laughs> so I'm gonna wait for Luke to get ready, so I think I'm gonna go downstairs, put the change, put some washing on. Change the washing, but oh, I can't get my words out. You can tell I haven't vlogged for so long, because I'm just rambling. Necklace is good. Earrings desperately need changing. So let's just wipe the hair up in a clip and then we'll go. Okay, so there's like zero, we've got to the line in and there's like zero parking. Like when I say zero Diamond. parking. Thank you, thank, thank you. you so much. <laughs> but like no parking. And the guy just said, oh look, just park in here. Look, I'll show you. Oh, I've done, I'm just trying to get out. That's perfect. Talk about private parking. <laughs> Do you want me to go out and get some? I mean, like, oh yeah. Mm. Twix. We are back from the line in. It was yummy. I had the pork, mash and veg and it was absolutely delightful. But now I feel extremely full. Um, and we're just, just gonna chill. But I'm quickly going to restyle this with a couple of my new accessories. So I'll do that now. Um, and then I think we're just gonna chill and watch TV and I might even have a little nap. Maybe. I had a feeling you'd come back and save me From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced without you Why don't we go back to Why don't we go back to Never wanted to end
But it's like something feels different from back then Why don't we go back to, why don't we go back to Honestly, I'm open Okay, so I've put this up here However, I don't know if I like that there I feel like it needs a bit more colour So as long as I don't kill this Let's move that out and move that there. I think, I think I prefer the pot. This actually. <laughs> oh, I love him. Um, <laughs> what a plonker. This actually is not made for this pot. However, it's all I've got right now. I need to get a few more of these terracotta ones. But I can just pop that in there. And even if I have the window open, I think it just, um, I think the greenery, especially it pops with the greenery that's on the book. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. I think I quite, I like that setup. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Right, and now I've done this section, I need to do this part of my kitchen. Go on, Luke, show me past. <laughs> so, if you can see here, this is where I, let me move this out of the way, I've been to Tesco's on the way home, hold on. So, in this pot here, this is where, oh, this is where I had the utensils, and then I've also got over here, my, a few boards and a book, so I think I'm gonna change this bit up as well. It's not, it's not right. So, Let's give this a little bit of a revamp. Let's see what we can do. I oh, love, love this pot. Love this pot. It's one of my favourites. It's, look, $7.99. Sorry, but what a bargain. $7.99. Home sense. So many people comment on this on my Instagram. And it's one of my faves. I love it. Okay, I like the dish, I like the soap, I like the nail scrubber, I love my kabuchi chopping board, and I like the book. I like all of it, but something's missing. I don't know what it is, and I've still got a lot of accessories. I love my H&M bowls and my H&M mug, and I used to have them out. However, I might move and have them on the shelf in in the other part of the kitchen, round the corner. Who knows? It's coming together. So it's a start. But yeah, I need to take some snaps for Instagram as well, so um, I'll do that now, but I still think I need to faff. I like, it's like internally shopping. You're shopping at home with your own home accessories. Like, I haven't spent any money restyling this, and I'm getting the buzz of, in like, designing it. It's great. <laughs> Okay, so, oh, excuse the state of my room, I definitely need to tidy up. So, um, do you need my help? Yes, now, okay, I'll fill you in. You. I'm vlogging, so, um, we'll come help you, and then I'll carry on. Okay, thank you. What do you need help with? Um, just move the... Oh, it's a raven here. Sorry. <laughs> it's not going on in the kitchen. Okay, what do you need help with? Just move. This round. I'll move around again. Okay. Oh, oh I need I need I need shoes on. Hold on. Slippers. Okay. Oh, you're just moving it around again. 
All, all I need to do is move it like that. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, cool. Service is no longer needed, thank you. Service is done. Yay! So, Luke is um, finishing off, oh, I'll take his slippers off. He's still finishing off, oh, I need to tidy the kitchen as well. Oh, I need to do so much tidying, it's a mess. It's not good to see. I'm just gonna sit here, because it's easier. Uh, so where was I? So, Luke's still making his bench for his um, workshop garage place because he hasn't done it he's been working so much he just hasn't had the time to do it like no time at all so he's been doing that so just he's finishing some off of it today not finishing off but he's doing some of it it today yeah i left you yesterday so i left you on sunday went out for lunch it was lovely come back then i restyled the um uh, kitchen and then I also took some new photos for Instagram some of my, of my content I'll put them up on the screen for you uh, so yes yeah, so that that was really good really handy got some more content and then we pretty much chilled and had some lasagna and just watched film so it was really lovely and then today we've had a lazy morning we've got up I've already been to the gym which is good had a shower got kind of cozy ready and then we're just gonna I'm gonna sit on the sofa finish the vlog go and um, go through some emails bits and pieces on my computer and then tonight we're going back to the lion in for dinner with my dad and his other half so that'll be nice as well um i might even have the pork again because it was absolutely stunning it was delicious but anyway i'm gonna leave the vlog here because first one back I don't want to make it too long so if you've made it this far then thank you so much thank you so much for returning uh, i really appreciate it i thought i'd get my butt into gear and get back doing vlogs but um hopefully you like it don't know what the next one's going to be but i do have loads of projects coming up at, like home projects coming up that I want to do I want to finish the guest room there are two guest rooms there are the snug there's some more stuff in the bathrooms that I, what I want to do um so yeah i need to plan all that but hopefully i'll be able to vlog it all and youtube it all for you but if there's anything you want to see just message me um it'll probably just be day-to-day -day life and i'm gonna get try and get luke to be more involved in the vlog so mission getting luke involved in my vlog has begun anyway i will see you next time and thank you so much for watching Mwah.